Joaquino La Lomia, born Gaetano La Lomia and in religious Joaquino Fettel de Canicati, was an Italian Roman Catholic priest and a professed member from the Order of Friars Minor Capuchin. La Lomia served as part of a papal commissioned mission to Brazil where he dedicated himself to works of evangelization and the preservation of culture. He was a noted preacher and served as a confessor to Emperor Pedro II. La Lomia's cause for canonization commenced and he was titled as a servant of God when it commenced. In 2002 he was named as venerable upon confirmation of his life of heroic virtue. Gaetano La Lomia was born on March 3, 1831 in Canicati as the seventh of nine children to the Baron Niccolo La Lomia and Eleonora Agostino. The couple married on October 11, 1818. One brother was Francesco Salvatore. His maternal grandparents were Ferdinando Agostino and Rosalia Lee Chiavi and his maternal great-grandfather was Marco Agostino. His nephew was the writer Agostino Fausto La Lomia. He received baptism from Biagio Salomone and his godparents were Amon Wele and Carolina La Lomia. He decided to become a Franciscan after he heard the Capuchin priest Michel de San Cataldo preach. La Lomia entered the Order of Friars Minor Capuchin on November 4, 1851 where he assumed the religious name of Joaquino Fettel de Canicati and was vested. On December 12, 1852 before he was ordained to the priesthood in Palermo on June 2, 1855, he had received the tonsure and minor orders the previous 2nd of March. La Lomia made his solemn profession in Agrigento on November 5, 1853 and since 1861 underwent his theological and philosophical studies at Caltanissetta. On June 27, 1864 he left for Rome to learn Portuguese. He served in the missions in the Amazonian forest in Brazil from March 1868 until 1880 at the behest of Pope Pius IX who commissioned the Franciscan-led mission. He departed from Sardinia on January 13, 1868 and arrived first in Rio de Janeiro in March. Together with other brothers in the mission he preached the gospel to 13 villages and dedicated himself to the improvement of the health and the well-being of the Brazilian people as well as to the improvement of culture in the region. He also baptized converts to the faith. Ill health forced him to stop his work and return to his homeland and he left on January 14, 1880 to arrive in Rome on 1 April. It was upon his return that his nephew Niccolo La Lomia informed him that his mother had died on March 15, 1879. He returned to his homeland in 1880 and established the convent for the order at Canicati in the Madonna della Rocca Church. He was famous for performing miracles both in Brazil and in his homeland and he was a noted preacher and evangelist. His charismatic and humble nature was recognized and even Emperor Dom Pedro II of Brazil acknowledged him and had La Lomia hear his confessions. La Lomia preached his final mission starting on April 6, 1903 and knew around Easter that his life was coming to a close. On July 28, 1905 he was bought to his cell window to impart his blessing to the faithful who kept their vigil outside. La Lomia died in his convent at 8 p.m. on July 30, 1905. Dr. Skaka embalmed him on 31 July and his funeral was celebrated on 1 August lasting over three hours. His remains were relocated on April 21, 1912. The beatification process for La Lomia began in the Agrigento Archdiocese that saw the late friar titled as a servant of God. The Archbishop Giovanni Battista Peruzzo oversaw the informative phase of investigation from 1949 until its closure in 1951. The documents and other collected information from the Archdiocese was sent to the Congregation for Rites but the cause remained dormant for some. Time until the Congregation for the Causes of Saints began assessing the documents and validated the informative process on April 26, 1985. The postulation later compiled and submitted the Positio dossier to the CCS for further investigation. The theologians approved the dossier's contents in their meeting on February 12, 2002 as did the CCS themselves on April 9, 2002. On April 23, 2002, in the Clementine Hall, Pope John Paul II proclaimed him to be venerable after confirming that the late friar had lived a model life of heroic virtue. One miracle is required to receive papal ratification before La Lomia can be beatified. One such case was investigated and was sent to the CCS for additional investigation. The CCS validated the process on December 19, 1997. But initial investigation debunked the healing as no miracle attributed to La Lomia prompting the search for another possible miracle. There was a second later reported in France and was investigated with that process ending sometime in 2016. The documents were sent to the CCS in March 2017 for further evaluation. The current postulator for this cause is the Franciscan priest Carlo Coloni. 
In the 1970s there was the first recording of the Padre Joaquino song in the Sicilian region on 45 revolutions per minute that Cesar D'Ambra undertook, the orchestration was performed under the direction of Maestro Giuseppe Buttis. It remains a noted piece of music still recited. Chista e la storia di Patri J. Kainu, lu bon cappuccino, di caniati. Lassa lu monu, si cusin commentu e tutu contentu adieu, sirvi. This is the story of Padre Joaquino, the good cappuccino, of Canicati. He left the world to be secluded in a convent totally contented to serve the Lord. Thanks for watching.